Hello, I'm China Eastern. Friends have been reaching me on Instagram, DMs, and text messages, just kind of asking me questions about what it was like when I was a flight attendant. I thought I'd make this video it's a short and simple way to answer those questions. So this video, I'm gonna talk about some things that I loved about being a flight attendant and some things that were a bit more of a challenge for me. So. Stay tuned. So something that I absolutely loved about being a flight attendant was I was always gone all the time. I loved that. For me, I'm someone who kind of is like a floater in real life and I never like being anywhere for too long. I mean, when I talk to my friends, they're like, hey, where are you right now? Where are you in the world? And it was cool because it wasn't just like a where are you? It's like, no, literally, you could be anywhere in the world right now. And so that part of being a flight attendant, absolutely love it. Mainline is more so the bigger airlines that you know for sure, like American, Delta, uh, United. Those are mainline airlines and they're much bigger and they do longer flights, they do international flights. My, my airline was smaller. We did international flights too, but different ball game, different ball game. Being a regional flight attendant kind of sucked. I did similar work to mainline flight attendants, but I was paid significantly less. And it was very hard to just live <laughs> on what I was making. And it was my first year, so that on top of what I was making was already hard. When it's your first year as a flight attendant, it's always the hardest. I loved my base. My base was New York, and it had always been my dream since I was just a little kid to move to New York. And so when I got the position, I had the opportunity to move to New York because that was where my base was. This was also a challenge because like I just said, um, my wages were really low for flight attendant, um, and New York is not an affordable city to live in. Another challenge of working as a regional flight attendant with this particular company I was with was I didn't get to pick up trips um, because I was on reserve. When I didn't work, although I had a guaranteed you know, pay in my contract and I was supposedly getting paid, I'd much rather be working a flight, flying somewhere, making additional money to add on to my paycheck so that I can live, you know, and take care of myself. This particular company didn't have that and before I interviewed, I had no idea what these sort of things mean and like why they would be important. Um, so, you know, I really had a hard time. I did not have paid training. I know that some airlines offer paid training, but this particular airline did not have paid training. So that was a challenge because for about a month, I did not have any income and I was not accumulating any income. They relied on my family during that time and luckily I was still living with them at the time. So it wasn't a big deal, but it's still not cool <laughs> to not have money while you're going through training and you're like technically employed. If you are watching this and you're ever considering being a flight attendant, Definitely, definitely, definitely recommend saving up as much money as you can before you apply, before you go to training, or where, however much you can, you know, prepare before you get there. Because even if you do have paid training, it's not a lot per week. And if you have bills and kids and responsibilities to think about, that is definitely something that can be a challenge while you're in training. So one thing that I absolutely loved about being a flight attendant was, of course, wearing the uniform. That was like the most anticipated day when we were going through training was getting fitted for our uniform. It's weird because I hated wearing uniform in school, but wearing a flight attendant uniform feels so freaking cool and i don't even know how else to explain that besides it is what it is walking through the airport and people seeing me as a flight attendant just felt like an honor to be a flight attendant in general because you know not only that but when you're on the plane and people see you they look to you as like a source of information little kids look up to you i really did feel like like a model in the air and not like a fashion model but like like a role model in the air especially after training i learned how important it was for flight attendants to be present on a plane for safety when people saw me i felt like i 
like I was this person overseas. The amount of money I spent on freaking stockings and luggage and sometimes uniform. Yeah, and I had to buy stockings so much. Lifting up your bag and stuff into the overhead bins or lifting up other people's bags and stuff. You can easily rip your stockings and then you can get in trouble if you have ripped stockings or no stockings. I sort of felt like I had entered into a sorority. Honestly, training is very rigorous and you do feel like you cross over in a sense. You go through these challenges with people in your training classes that no one else understands or would know about. I've never been in a sorority or you know anything like that, so I'm, sh I'm just kind of going off of what I think it would be like. Um, but I feel like the the flight attendant training process definitely feels a lot like crossing into a sorority. Another challenge of being a flight attendant, and I wouldn't say that it's something that would consistently always be a challenge. I think the more um, flying I did, the better I got at this. As a flight attendant, you don't get a set lunch break and no one's gonna be like, hold on guys, this employee has to eat. They're worried about getting on that flight on time and not being delayed. They're worried about nothing going wrong, getting A to B, that's it. It was also a challenge just knowing what foods would last, um, knowing what foods to buy in the airport, eating as a flight attendant, eating well and just eating period and not spending a lot of money on food was a challenge. I mean, I spent so much money buying airport food. Another thing I absolutely loved about being a flight attendant was that I only worked with certain people for however long the trip was. I got to meet so many new people every time I went to work. I never worked with the same person twice. I love that. It was fun to me because it's like, who am I gonna work with next? I met some really great people that way and um, it's been, it was really awesome. I really miss that variety um, in my workplace. And I would say that that's also something that I love about being a flight attendant. It's so much variety, of course, because you're always moving around, but I mean, from coworkers to people you interact with customer-wise to just never knowing what your day will look like, even if you have a schedule, not having enough uh, off time or time from work or golden days, whatever it's called, A days as Delta calls it, um, not having enough of those of time off to use my cool benefit to travel. Of course you become a flight attendant so that you can travel for leisure. I did have a few times where I had like three or four days off in a row. And you know, when I had those days off, I really wanted to go home. <laughs> I probably also didn't have enough cash flow to go anywhere. Although you're a flight attendant, you can get to a destination for free. You also have to get around in that destination. You have to have somewhere to lay your head in that destination. You have to eat in that destination and you're probably gonna wanna explore. So you still have to have money. If you're paid the very low bare minimum as a flight attendant, it's very hard to go anywhere on your leisure day. The upside is the longer you stay with a company, the more money you make and then the more seniority you get. And then from there, you can have more control somewhat over your schedule and things like those that. Those are my those are my things that um, I loved about being a flight attendant and some things that were more of a challenge for if me. If you're interested in being a flight attendant one day, you should definitely find people on Instagram, on Facebook, join these Facebook groups. Ask current flight attendants or former flight attendants like what is it like? What do they love? What do they not love? You know, tell ask them to tell you about their current company. Ask them about things that they wish would be different in their company because those are definitely important things that I wish that I would have asked, that I wish that I would have. Yeah, so since all those applications are open right now, I hope that this kind of helps some of you who are just looking for some insight. <laughs> I will see you around.